In 2019, Jamaica got its first Taino chief in over 500 years. Here to give us an understanding of what this means is Chief Kaike Kalen, and um, with him is Chief Tess Ronaldo. Good morning, guys. How are you? They are from the Hummingbird Taino tribe. And there is little Tanama Areto. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Smile Jamaica, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. Yes. Usalukali, as we said. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Chiefs, I'm going to start with you because, um, you know, many of us in, in, in school, we are taught about the Taino, but one of the things we are taught is that the Taino is extinct or, 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 or that, um, you know, over time there are no Tainos. And here I am now looking at you. Um, so tell me, how did we establish those ties in Jamaica, advancing to where you are now the chief? and your wife's chief test. All right. Well, there has been a resurgence throughout the Caribbean, to be honest. Um, the same narrative that was here in Jamaica is the same narrative throughout the Caribbean, that the first people of the Caribbean were all extinct. Mm -hmm. And what took place is that as the technology advanced that made it capable for community members that held these oral traditions, because throughout the island of Jamaica, there are people that were saying that they were Indian, that they said that they're separately from Indian, or they'd have terms like Maroon, Kuli, or Arawak. There was no technology at the time. There wasn't DNA when these things were taking place. So you could claim and say that, all right, this is proof, other than what my family has been saying throughout centuries, that we are actually here. So the technology has, has actually assisted our community in stepping forward and holding our claims. It, it, it has given a lot of strength to the younger generation mm -hmm. so that we can um, protect our spaces, protect you know, our ancestral sites, and to, 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 to change the narrative, the narrative of extinction that existed because there's a lot of trauma that came for that for our community members and our people. Mm -hmm. And me being Kasika today is really because the, the individuals that were aware and conscious and those that went out there, did their DNA tests and et cetera, we decided it was time for Jamaica to make a, a, a stand to bring together our community again and to, to create systems that were there prior to help us to navigate the future together and, you know, to, 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 for us to share with each other, yeah. to share our, our connected heritage mm -hmm. so that we can support the younger ones that are coming up because it was very difficult for our ancestors to be told that they were they, 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 their their people are extinct or that you know there's that relative that is continuing this narrative you know there was a push to focus on the, the European part of our ancestry so not a lot of attention was paid prior and luckily um, the times have changed there have been studies that have come out that has actually been able to confirm using ancestral DNA with DNA of current populations. So we're at a, a, a changing point in history for the Caribbean. So, 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 so you're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chief, because I want to clarify um, from your personal perspective how you established your own Taino links. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from my personal perspective, I established my Taino link, and that for my family is that there has been this, this dialogue, this narrative that was taking place, and there are certain cultural, what you call it, cultural preservations that were in my family, but we didn't understand where it came from. Uh -huh. um, as is typical for most Jamaicans, you know, the, the attention is mostly placed on our European ancestry. There is not much tracing that can be done with the African ancestry uh -huh. due to the transatlantic slave trade. Right. So give so me an example. Give me an example of something in your family that would that would distinguish this Taino history? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the first things is that my, my great grandfather acknowledged his indigenous ancestry. You know, he used one of the terms that I, I later on learned from other relatives, which was, they call it Maroon Kuli or Inji, uh, right? Uh, and that was one of the ways that they identified themselves. Uh, um, one of the things that is in our family is whenever we consume a meal, something very simple, um, we put up portion of our food to the side of the plate that is called in the native american tradition that's called the spirit plate mm -hmm. so in african traditions when you're honoring an ancestor you pour liquor on the ground right. in native american traditions you put a portion of the meal that you're eating 
to a side of the plate as if you're saying that, you know, thank you for this meal. And, and this is, that's a, a form of prayer. And some of these things were be able to persist. Yes. Um, there, are, there are carving techniques. There are um, ways of using and planting tobacco, ways of planting cassava. Yes. There, there's so many little things that have existed that exist in communities that they're aware that they're, this, this retention is there. But it is, was never spoken of outside of the community. Right, right not able to place exactly what it is. Um, Chief Tess, yes. I, I, I know that from our own Jamaica National Heritage Trust and our Institute of Jamaica, that there mm -hmm. have been um, findings and that they've been preserving artifacts that will confirm <laughs> that the Taino, um, you know, were never extinct, that the Taino uh, <laughs> would, would, I would say, assimilated amongst other communities and other, other ethnicities in Jamaica, and, and so here we are today. Um, how does it make you feel, um, knowing that, the, that your family is going to be a part of, I would say, raising the awareness and, and continuing a more visible legacy of the Taino? For, for me, it's a, sense of, it's a sense of pride, it's a sense of rightness, you know, it's a... It, it brings gratitude to, to, to my spirit to um, getting goosebumps while I'm talking. It brings gratitude to my spirit to say that, okay, finally, here we are coming back out of the shadows that we were put in, you know, through paper genocide, through, um, you know, the oral genocide, people telling us that we didn't exist to this day now where we have even the local government saying that, yes, you are here and you have been here and it's just a sense of rightness my family and i we are so proud to be um, stepping out as the leaders in the resurgence and we hope to teach others to move forward in the same in the same line yeah yeah it's great talking to you guys i mean a lot of people are not aware because it hasn't come out yet but one of the things we decided to do heading to puerto rico was to have Miss Jamaica World um, wear a costume that, that was Taino in recognition of our shared oh. culture with Puerto Rico <laughs> and the Taino yes. there. So it's great talking to you. Thank you so much. Yes. And I look forward to all that you'll continue to do. Um, Chief Tess Ronaldo and Chief Kailan and daughter Tanama Areto, nice to meet you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, my sweetie, thank you. Yes. Smile Jamaica returns after this quick break.